but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. So for the second episode of my mini Game of Thrones series, I chose the House Stark whose colors are various shades of gray and black and whose symbolic symbol is a wolf. As usual, I did my face off camera. If you want to know all the products I used for this look, they will be in the description box below. So for a transition shade, I'm using Silk Cream from the Jocelyn Hill palette and applying it all into my crease with a fluffy blending brush. Then I'm taking the same brush in the color Poudre from the same palette and applying it mainly on the outer corner but blending it in towards the inner corner. To deepen that up even more, I'm taking Central Perk on a blending brush by Morphe and applying that mainly on the outer corner and crease but I also put a little bit onto the lid as well to help blend out tees which is what is going to tie in the grays for this look and I apply it all over my eye with the same fluffy brush that we used earlier. I'm then taking Abyss from the same Jaclyn Hill palette and applying it over tees. It's more of a charcoal gray on top of tees which is what I wanted. I wanted this look to kind of be an ombre smoky eye going from dark dark black to dark charcoal gray to light gray to ivory so I'm just blending out the colors even more and I'm applying the darkest color which is blackout from the naked 2 palette and I'm applying that only on the outer corner of our eyes and then I blend it out right now to help give that ombre smoky effect to highlight my brows I'm using the Shanix O palette and I'm using the lightest shade so to give this look a little something, something I tried to do a halo eye with glitterati from Colourpop which is one of those super shock shadows but it wasn't blending out the way I wanted it to so I just applied it all over my lid with my fingers which is the best way to apply these eyeshadows and I took Verve from the Naked 2 palette and I applied it all over my lid to make the glitterati color pop and then just blending in the gray even more so it looks all nice and blended and blended isn't too harsh I'm now just wiping off my bakage so my face looks good and to bronze up my face a little bit I'm taking my very loved wet and wild color icon contour palette and I'm taking the contouring shade and applying that all over my face to bronze it up and for the contouring effect I'm using the darkest shade of this elf contouring kit on a Real Techniques contouring brush and I'm just applying that onto my cheeks so my cheeks look nice and stretched. Now back to our eyes we're just smoking them out with the same colors we used on the upper lash line but I'm only making this really tiny because my eyes are so small that I can't really smoke it out a lot like I would like. So I'm now just lining my eyes with a gel liner by e.l.f. This is more of a super dark brown but in person it looks really dark and almost black. So I'm using that same liner to apply that to my lash line. I'm just curling my lashes and applying mascara. You can apply false eyelashes if you want to but if you don't have any like I do you can just apply mascara. To highlight my face, I'm using the color Beam from the Jocelyn Hill palette, and this really ties the look together. It's really pretty, it's not too distracting, but bam, you have a highlight, and it's so gorgeous. It's like a nice icy white champagne color. So for my lip liner, I'm applying ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in Aquarius, which is my favorite nude color of all time. And if you don't really like super light nudes like what I use for the final look, you can totally leave it like this and apply some gloss and it will look gorgeous. But for this look, I wanted to have a really light nude color. So I took one of Wet n Wild's liquid lipsticks in the shade Nudie Patootie and it really made it, like made this look amazing. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye!